And we have with us the CEO of Revton, Andreas. Welcome up on stage. Okay. Very welcome. So, since Jalba is here, you, together with him, have created a fantastic international leader. You have millions of customers and you're doing fantastic. Yes. Tell your story. I want to hear it. Well, we've gone from selling white rabbits to innovating in, in telecoms, and uh, I'm still working closely with Jalba. He's on our, our board. So, first of all, thanks um, very much for allowing me to be here, it's fantastic. Um, uh, I'm the CEO of Reptile, I'm Andreas Bernstrom, uh, and I, it's an honor to be speaking after Niklas Sandstrom, who's a bit of an idol, uh, and also, uh, before Jan Lindblad, I'm a, a bit of a jelly in a, a heavyweight entrepreneur's sandwich. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit of a clip, and hopefully it'll give you a, a, a little bit of insight into what Reptile is. Remember when calling your best friend was free? Well, something happened along the way. As you grew up, so did the phone. When you moved out and became independent, the phone cut its cord as well. But as the phones grew smaller, the bills grew larger. Well, we think it's time for a smarter way of calling. So you can call your best friend for free, again, from anywhere. Reptel. Talk more with your loved ones. So that's Reptel in a nutshell. We've launched a, a new version of our services, 2.0, uh, allow for free calling across devices, uh, BlackBerry, uh, iOS, Android, and the PC. For where we can't make the call free, we'll make it super cheap. Um, we do this with a very elegant and uh, intuitive user interface, and we can actually move from a data call to a cellular network call. So if you're walking, if you're sitting in your office on a 3G call, and you think, God, I've got to go to a meeting, and you walk out, and it starts breaking up, you can press the button, we make the call in the background, and we seamlessly transfer you so you won't drop your call. So for myself and the team, it's a pleasure to be here, and thank you very much. Well, I, I, I was going to come here uh, under the theme, Passion Entrepreneurs, because you are extremely passionate about what you're doing. Yes. Um, is that something that you can sort of take with you to other organizations, or is it just because you like football, or you like killing telecom companies, or you like something else? What, if, if, um, you, if you were a leader of another type of organization, how could you bring that passion, or bring that sort of approach? I think passion is a, uh, a characteristic of an individual rather than necessarily the industry. So I worked at Trade Hub previously and was extremely passionate. So key takeaway, sort of passionate people are more important than the most competent people. I, th I would definitely say so, yeah. Big round of applause for Andreas, thank you very much.